Hello everyone, I hope you're having a nice day. I'm here today to show you my makes for January. I've got three to show you um, and I'm wearing one already. So um, the three that I promised, so the only thing that's missing is the dungarees, but they are gonna come next week. So um, yeah, I shall just start. So this is a new pattern that I designed um, and it's a maternity slash nursing top. So let me show you it. Um, so kind of dips down at the back here and it's got a little pleat detail here but the magic is that it opens up like this and like this to show my to show my belly band sorry um, and so of course I assume that that will mean breastfeeding is easy um, and yeah because it's so loosened and light it's perfect for maternity as well so it's hopefully a tra transitional top and pattern cutter Kate who helped me with this she tried it on as well and she's like oh my gosh Lisa I'm not pregnant but I would so wear this top so um, yeah maybe it'll be something I'll wear post nursing and post pregnancy um, but it was yeah really simple and easy to make and it's nice because you can make it in rayon or crepe which are some of my favorite fabrics um, so I've already made another one actually in fact I'm going to show you that one as well I'll show you that at the end um, so I already made another one um, and I've already got another one in mind as well so it's really good for just whacking over maternity jeans really nice and comfy and it's just really nice to be able to wear some nice pretty fabrics so it's great it's great for that sort of thing um, so yeah not really much to say this fabric made up really nicely irons well sews up easily um, I'm not sure if there's any left I think there was some when I was in on Wednesday but I'm filming this actually on Friday when it's coming out and I'm not sure if there will be still any left but maybe there will be fingers crossed I know the teal one ran out straight away um, but yeah so this is my first make and it is a thumbs up for my first maternity pattern that I've ever attempted so pleased that that's gone well Okay, on to the next one. Okay guys, I decided to put this one, actually my second version of my maternity top on now, just because I realized for the others, I'm gonna have to take my jeans off and chopping and changing. So I've put it on now. So this is made out of another one of our fabrics, which is a crepe. Um, so um, also works really nicely. Um, same thing, lifts up. Um, you can't quite see the detail as much on this one, but still got the same pleats. Um, so yeah, it works really well in this fabric. This is such a pretty fabric. Um, I think it would look lovely as a shift dress. Really nice shift dress actually. Um, also, what else would it work out? It would work well as, as a, probably a Susie blouse or an Anderson blouse. I don't know if the pussy bow blouse might be a bit thick for the pussy bow blouse, just for the tie, it might make the tie a bit bouncy. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice crepe. I'll pop a link to it in the comments below. So yeah, this is number two. Um, surprise make that you didn't know, second version of this top. And um, yeah, I'm going to put on the others now. Okay guys, please ignore this creased top and this ridiculous line here. I just threw it on, this is not the make. Okay, the make is the ultimate trousers that I did. Um, I'm coming, trying to come far back so you can see them in the daisy fabric. So here they are in the stretch denim daisy fabric and here is my maternity um, band. So basically if you look at them from the back you'll see that they are exactly the same as the normal um, um, ultimate trousers but then at the front what I've done is I've encased a big wide piece of elastic in a jersey um, and I've attached that at the side seams and to the front so I've sort of taken off a front section of the trousers and it's so comfy I think this maternity band thing that I'm wearing which is I'm wearing to help support my back because I'm getting backache but that's not ideal it's making it all a bit bulky but yeah it's so comfy stretchy definitely room for for growth and um the only thing i think i change is i think i need to lengthen this because you can see it's dipping down like that so because the bump is quite low it's um it, yeah we need a bit more i need a bit more length here so next one i make i would do that 
but yeah really like it I'm gonna change the angle of the camera so you can see that's better and it saves me getting up on the chair because I know some of you were worried about that last time so I won't be getting up on that stool because that is quite high. Anyway, this fabric is perfect for the ultimate trousers. I knew it would when we bought it from the agent um, and we've got it in a light blue as well which is really nice and I think I'm going to make a pair of that as well for spring. Excuse my stripy socks. Um, but yeah, I literally didn't change anything on my pattern in terms of sizing because at the moment I'm exactly the same size in, t in my legs and my bottom than I was before I was pregnant. It's only the front that's changed. So I was able to keep the same dark shaping. Um, everything was the same at the back and I've just added it at the front. I did grade out the front piece just a little bit at the side seams just to allow for a bit more room. But apart from that, it was just a set question of taking that section off. And actually maternity versions of these are quicker to make than the standard ones because you don't have to put a zip in. So, first summary is I absolutely love these. I'm so pleased that I can wear the Ultimate Trousers again because I'm getting so bored of wearing maternity jeans. I like jeans, but I'm not someone who wears jeans all the time, so for me, uh, I often have been wearing dresses and things because that way I can have a variety in my wardrobe but now I can have um, ultimate trousers which is really good and I reckon I'll probably wear them straight afterwards as well because I'm sure the last thing you want after you've given birth for the first few months is to wear super tight waisted trousers so I think that they'll be um, a nice addition to my wardrobe afterwards as well um, and I guess I, these I probably won't be able to turn back. Some of the things that I'm f making I'm thinking, oh well I could probably alter it back to be normal. These I won't because of the band and I've taken a section of fabric out. But that's fine. Um, I'm just not going to make too many of them. Maybe I'll make one other pair um, that will be a little bit more springy for March time. But yeah, great fabric for ultimate trousers guys and I hope for those of you who are pregnant which is probably the majority, um, that this is still interesting to see these fabric, this fabric as the ultimate trousers because yeah, it does really work. So make number three done, on to the last one. Okay, so my last make for January is the Ren dress, uh, the Colette pattern Ren dress that I tweaked a little bit, but not very much so that it would fit me right now. So here it is. So this is the wrap, now you can see it's a little bit low, but with a vest, fine, completely decent. And actually, because it's so low, very easy to access for breastfeeding. So I think this will be something I'll definitely be able to wear afterwards as well. Um, and that's why I did it with the short sleeves, because that way it will work in the summer. And um, if I step back, so I added a little bit extra at the side seams just to add for a bit more room here at the front. Um, this is dipping quite far down, but I don't know if that matters. I mean, but basically I didn't change it, because if you remember the first time I made this dress, I was surprised at how short-waisted it was, and I thought, well, the next time I make it, I will definitely lower it down, but obviously the next time I made it, I was pregnant, so I didn't need to. But actually, it's dipping down here, and I don't know if that's pretty, or whether I should have levelled it off a bit. I don't know. I mean, that, what's quite nice is that you see the small of your back here. So a lot of maternity things, you don't get to see that. So it just goes straight down and then you look even wider. So for this, you don't, so that's good. Um, and then I've dipped it like I have been doing on all my maternity dress hacks at the front to um, allow for the bump. But yeah, it's a very comfy, nice dress. And I'll definitely wear it again. Um, later on like I said for nursing and I also think that I'll make another one because it is just yeah really comfy and pretty so really pleased with that and I'm so pleased how well it goes with trying to lift my leg up when that's not happening um can I show you my tights it goes really well with my grey tights and my little grey lace vest which is something that I've got already so it's really nice Sorry guys, my phone was going. So it's really nice just to know that I've got all the things that go with it. I probably will need to wear a cardi, but I've got lots of cardies, like a blush pink cardi or pink cardi or something, or a reddish colour. I've got things like that, so I can wear that with them. Wow. So yes, those were my makes for January, and I think they were all successes. I'm really pleased with all of them. Um, and um, yeah, I'm now excited about what I'm going to make this month. 
So this month is a shorter month, so I don't want to give myself too much and given how much I've worked recently, I do need to slow down. So work, God, I'm out of breath. I'm so sick of being out of breath. <sighs> I am doing yoga and swimming and probably more exercise, gentle exercise than I used to, but so out of breath. <sighs> okay, it's when I talk a lot, I get out of breath. So um, yes, so it is a shorter month and I don't want to give myself too much because I have been really working too hard this January. Um, I have been going to bed early, which has been the only thing I've been able to do because I've had to work quite late, um, like later than I normally would and getting up early, but I've been sleeping well, which has been great. But now I really do need to stop working that hard. Um, it just happened with the new site and things going wrong at so over it. Sometimes unforeseen things happen. Those of you that run your own business or work for yourselves, you'll know what I mean. It's like, I planned for this not to happen, but there was about three things that went wrong at so over it that r resulted in me having to work harder than I was planning on. And that coinciding with the launch of lisacomfort.com was just bad. So, um, but that's all now settling and done. So I can now start to chill out a little bit more, which is good. So I don't want to then force myself, not force myself, but push myself too much with the sewing because as much as I love sewing, it's also tiring. So um, yeah, I'm gonna do three makes. Hmm. I always say that and then I do another one, but I'm gonna say that I'm gonna do three makes. If another one comes out, brilliant um, but yeah I've already got some fabrics put aside so um, but I'm not going to do it next week because I've still got to do my dungarees and I want to do those first but otherwise I won't ever do that pattern review so I'm going to do my dungarees next week and then fabrics the week after um, so and then yeah it means I'll be a little bit late but probably second week of March maybe first week of March I'll manage to get some done by so that's the plan of action um, and um, yeah, what else is there to say? Poppy is sleeping upstairs, guys, so I'm sorry I can't bring her down for you. I'm filming this on Friday morning, which I never do, which shows you how busy I've been. I always film this usually on the Wednesday or the Thursday, but this is gonna be coming a bit later in the Friday to you, because by the time I edit it, upload it to YouTube, it's gonna take a while. But um, yeah, so it's quite early. Poppy's still sleeping upstairs, and um, so sorry I haven't got her to show you, but she's fine nothing to report there. She's looking like a bear at the moment. She's so furry. I need to take her to um, to the groomers. Everyone keeps saying, is Poppy put on weight? I'm like, yeah, it's sympathy weight gain. She's been putting it on with me. Um, anyway, so this weekend I have got a nice weekend. I've got some friends. We're having a bit of a gathering with friends. One of our friends had a baby just before Christmas. So there's a few of us going up to hers tomorrow um, to hang out with her and her new lovely baby. And then on Sunday, Matt and I are on DIY mode, which I am kind of more just sitting there ordering Matt to do DIY. I'm not really doing DIY. Um, but we, yeah, we're getting going with the nursery and sorting stuff out. So um, it'll be feel nice to have a day that we get stuff done. But yeah, that's it from me. That's what I'm up to. I hope you all have a lovely weekend and I will see you next week. Bye.